So apparently, according to some YouTubers, I was just um, watching Diddy's lawyers and the U.S. prosecutors office have exchange but you know been exchanging discovery and so on and so forth and there's a pre-trial conference coming up soon and um the judge has asked them to i'm sorry to provide a letter explaining what they want to discuss in the pre-trial hearing and one of them is you know diddy's request for a speedy trial which we know in new york well, we don't know. I think in New York, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the speedy trial rules have been um, drafted, promulgated, if you will, in conjunction with the U.S. Constitution, the federal constitution, right? And so this is a federal case. It's not even a state case. But it's a federal case being brought in the Southern District of New York. So I believe the Constitution is the law of the land, the supreme law of the land, and that would rule in Trump anyway. But there is no conflict between the U U.S. Constitution, the United States federal Constitution, and the New York state Constitution, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, with regard to the speedy trial right, the fundamental right of all criminal defendants to have a speedy trial. It is, um, it is guaranteed, I believe, in the Sixth Amendment of the Federal Constitution of the United States, the Sixth Amendment. It guarantees every defendant, every criminal defendant, certainly, the right to a fair and impartial jury, which is something that I'm very concerned about in this particular case, because the public has been inflamed and the defendant severely prejudiced by the release of those videotapes of him beating his girlfriend, considering this is not a state assault case, it is a federal racketeering case but those video or that videotape showing him assaulting his girlfriend which is a state crime oops 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 sorry you guys it's a state crime not a federal crime assault is governed by state law i believe correct me if i'm wrong right um and here we you know we have the federal government charging the defendant with racketeering under the RICO statute, okay? Um, racketeering influence, corruption. Um, I forgot what the O stands for, but um, so anyway, so the, the, the videotape of him beating Cassie was highly prejudicial, right? And so that that was released to the public in advance of this trial, I think is, is sanctionable, right? Because it has so inflamed the public that I don't think he can get a fair and impartial jury, which is his constitutional right on the, Uni the United States Constitution. The federal constitution, as well as the state constitution of New York, where this case is being, uh, is being brought. Or has been brought okay now in the federal constitution it does not say that the defendant in a criminal matter um would have a right to a trial within six months of being indicted it just says and correct me if i'm wrong i believe what it says is that the defendant is entitled to a trial within a reasonable period of time after being indicted in a criminal matter, right? Reasonable time being the operative word in the federal constitution. In the state constitution, which can give more rights but not less rights, or fewer rights, I should say, than the, the, the federal constitution. In the state constitution of New York, in New York state 
constitution, a criminal defendant shall have the right to a speedy trial not to exceed six months for felonies, such as the case of Mr. Combs. This is a fundamental right. Why is this a fundamental right? Because you can't just keep people locked up in jail or prison or wherever you you have them indefinitely. And without these speedy trial laws, many people would be prejudiced in the United States. Those who don't have money, those who are members of certain minority groups, you know, those who, yeah, look, you know, take your pick of, of who would be prejudiced without these constitutional guardrails, such as the speedy trial rules. And so the idea that Diddy should hurry up and wait in prison for a year while the government sorts out all of the documents that they claim they need to sort out, whether it is his electronic documents or, um, you know, any other documents that were seized in the raids of his home back in March, where in October, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So seven months, the government has had seven months to go through these documents, right? And get their their docs in order in order to be ready for to set a trial date within the confines of the speedy trial rules, which would mean he was indicted in September, October, November, December, January, February, March. He has a constitutional right pursuant to both the federal and state constitution of the United States and the state of New York to have his trial state set anywhere between March and April. And it is his constitutional right to demand that the government be ready. And if the government is not ready, this would be basis to dismiss the case against Mr. Combs. Do correct me if I'm wrong, because again, I did not pay attention in law school. Okay. <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> um, so I, especially in criminal law, I was just like, you must be kidding me with this, right? I had no interest, but you know, we're going back like two decades on this. So, but I believe those are the rules, ma'am. Okay. So this idea of, you know, people on, on social media and, and there's one in particular that, that I, I, I'm referring to who's like, oh, Diddy should just hurry up and wait because, you know, the government, he, he does not have to give the government time to, to finish, to, to get ready for, for a trial you know, a year from now while he sits and rots in jail and they deny him bail. He's an American. He is an American. He's governed by the American federal constitution. And this state is being brought in New York. This this case is being brought in New York. I believe he is a, a, a citizen of the state of New York or, or a resident, right? This This case is being brought in the Southern District of New York. New York also guarantees that he has a right to have a trial within six months of being indicted for a felony, right? So don't ask this man to hurry up and wait in prison to give, you know, the, the government time to sort through the documents. The government has already had seven months and they have also denied this man bail. And in our system, you are innocent until proven guilty and for felonies, you need to be proven guilty by the standard that is beyond a reasonable doubt, right? This is the law in the United States at this time. Do correct me if I'm wrong. So I take huge umbrage at anybody demanding that this man hurry up and wait in prison. I don't have to like him. I don't have to want to have his baby. I don't have to respect anything having to do with his lifestyle but he is an American and he's subject to the United States constitution and his rights under the constitution, both state and federal constitution should be respected. That's all for this one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.